Hey boys and girls, we're going to review some more time today. And first we're going to talk about how do you know what hour it is. And we're just going to pay attention for a little while to this little hour hand. Remember the hour hand is the short hand because it's a shorter word. The minute hand is the bigger hand because it's a bigger word. Remember, hour, shorthand, short word, minute, bigger hand, bigger word. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up right now, and I want you to just take a look at this hour hand. What hour is it pointing to? And by that I mean, what blue number is it pointing to? These red numbers are gonna count our minutes, but right now I just want you to look at the blue numbers. If you said 11, you are right. When the hour hand is pointing directly on a number, it means that the time is, we say, on the hour or close to it. It means it's like 11 o'clock exactly or close to it. And if I then look at my minute hand, I can see that it is pointing to the 12. When the hour hand on a clock is pointing directly at the number, the minute hand is usually pointing directly at the 12 or close to it. Let's see if I let some time pass. Now let's look at this one again. I'm going to cover up the minute hand. I want you to look just at the hour hand. What number is it pointing to? What blue number is it pointing to? If you said one, you were correct. That means that the time is one o'clock or very close to one o'clock. And if I check my minute hand, it is pointing directly up to the 12. That means no minutes have passed the one. It's directly one o'clock. Let's try another one. Let me try one that's a little bit trickier. Okay. Look at the hour hand. What blue number is it pointing to? If you said six, you are correct. If it's exactly six o'clock, that means my minute hand is also is going to be directly up at the 12. So every time it's something o'clock, the minute hand has to stay up there, okay? Now I want you to take a look at something else. Sometimes, um, we also talk about time to the half hour, and that's something we're focusing on this week. What that means is this. See this minute hand here, and you see these red numbers here? This counts the number of minutes or blue ticks all the way around the clock. If I count the number of blue ticks on this clock from 12 to 1, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's why there's a 5 there. If I count from five to here, that would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten blue ticks from the 12 all the way to the two. That means that there's 10 minutes that can pass from the time that the minute hand goes from here all the way to here. If I make the minute hand go all the way to the bottom of the clock, you see this 30 here? That means that 30 minutes have passed. But do you know a really quick way of counting that is not to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and on and on. It's to count by fives. Do you see how they did that on this clock to make it easy for us? So first I look at my hour hand and I look at the blue number. Okay, it's pointing to the six, so I know that it is six o'clock. Now I'm going to count with my minute hand coming all the way down here. You ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, that's right, 30 minutes have passed, so I say this time is actually 6.30. I'm gonna show you why we call that half past. Do you see how the minute mark was up here and now it's down here? If I were to color in or block out that whole space, half of the clock would have been covered. See that from here to here? 
half of the clock has been covered. So that's why we could say it is six, half past six, or we can say it is 6.30. Now that we know where the minute hand is, every time it says 30 minutes, that it's always gonna be down here at the six, let's see what the hour hand does when this is here. Because the way that this, where this is, is how you can tell, gives you a clue about what the minute hand is doing. So I'll show you what I mean in a moment. I'm gonna move here, but I just want you to take a look at the hour hand again. Notice the hour hand is not pointing right on the seven, is it? And it's not pointing right on the eight. It's halfway or between the seven and the eight. When you see an arrow, the, uh, the hour arrow pointing halfway between two numbers, then that's a big clue for you that if, if the time is something 30. The 30 minutes have passed on the clock. That you're not gonna see the minute hand in a minute up here. You're gonna see it down here where it says 30 minutes, okay? So if you're trying to find out what time it is first, just look at the hour hand. Look at the two numbers it's between. It's between the seven and the eight. So it's past the seven, but has not gotten to eight o'clock yet. So it's seven and then 30 minutes. And if you can see on my clock down here and the digital, it says 730. I'm gonna close these windows because I'm we're gonna practice the next couple. I'm gonna do another one. You ready? Just first look at the hour hand. What two numbers is the hour hand between eight and nine, right? So it's halfway between eight and nine. I'm like, I should be thinking, oh my gosh, that means it's something 30. Now is it 8.30 or is it 9.30? Let's try to figure that out. Well, first, I know that when I move my clock, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. When I move my clock, the hour hand is always moving this way. We call that clockwise. It always goes this way. So it has passed the eight, but it has not pointed to the nine yet. Not yet. So we cannot say it is 9.30, but we can say it is eight. I'm pretty sure it's 8.30. Let's look at the minute hand. That's a step two. Oh, it's halfway down the clock, 30 minutes. So it must be 8.30 and we're right. All right, I want you to try the next one on your own. I'm gonna show, help you with the steps. Just look at the hour hand, step one. Where is the hour hand between what two numbers? Okay, now look at the minute hand. Where's the minute hand? So this has gone past the 10, but has not gotten to the 11 yet. So we, what hour are we on? If you said 10 o'clock, you're right. How many minutes have passed? If you said 30, you are right. It is 1030. Very good. One more, this one's a little bit trickier, but I believe you can do it. Okay. Look at the hour hand. Where is it pointing? What two numbers is it pointing between? All right, if you said 12 and one, you're right. So is it 12 something or is it one something? Has this gotten to the one yet? No, it hasn't. So it has to be 12 something. So our first number is 12. Our hour is on 12. What, how many minutes have passed? If it's halfway, remember that means 30 minutes. So the time is 12, 30. Now, whether it's p.m. or a.m. really depends on whether it's morning or night. 12.30 is around lunchtime, the middle of the day. 12 a.m. is in the middle of the night. Okay, so a.m. means morning from 12 midnight on until almost 12 o'clock p.m., which is lunchtime and the middle of the day. 
All right. So during in your work this week and in this folder today, I gave you a sheet that you can print or you can trace and cut out so you can make your own your own clock and you can make it I just got a paper plate and I wrote on it <laughs> and this is actually something I used last week when a lesson with you and then um, I cut out the circles or you can you know cut out your own circles you don't have to print it out the one on the website looks like this that I that I posted in the folder so you can print that and cut it out if you want or you can make your own and that's fine and this is just a fun way for us to practice telling time on our own because I know most of you don't have the nice teacher clock that I just showed you. And you'll notice that there's puddles on there. There's one for minute and one for hour. Remember, hour is the shorter because it's a shorter word. Minute is longer because it's a longer word. I have to use a bigger puddle, right? So... I just use this little ticky tack stuff here. You can use Play-Doh or anything sticky, even tape that you have in your house. And after you've made your clock, practice telling time to the hour first, then to the half hour, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I would practice. Remember, when I do time to the hour, first of all, my hour hand is pointing directly to that hour. So if I'm going to make two o'clock, I'm going to point it directly at the two. If I'm going to make seven o'clock, I'm going to make it point directly to the seven. Remember how we talked about that? And when you're talking about on the hour, your hour hand is pointing directly to the number. If I made it say 11 o'clock, then I would point it directly at the 11. Now for the minute hand, Remember, if it's on the hour, like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, I'm going to have the minute hand point directly up at the top. You see that? Now, you notice mine says 0, 0. It doesn't say 60. In all, if you went all the way around the clock, there will be 60 minutes total. But when you start over again, it's 0, 0. And that's why I did that. So... This would be 11 o'clock. If I wanted it to say two o'clock first, I move my hour hand and point it directly to the hour, and then I make sure my minute hand is pointing directly at the top. Now this says two o'clock. How would I make it say four o'clock? Where would my hour hand point to? Four o'clock. You said I have to take it and move it right onto the four. You are right. Four o'clock means that the hour hand's pointing directly at the four and the minute hand's way up at the top because no minutes have passed yet. All right, so now let's practice with our half hour. I'm gonna take the minute hand off of this for a moment so that we can practice where do we place our hour hand when it's to the half hour. Remember that we said that the hour hand is halfway between two numbers when it's to the half hour. So if it's 4.30, I'm gonna put it halfway between the four and the five, and then where does my minute hand go? Where does it say 30 minutes on my clock? If you said this, you are right. Remember, I could draw the little lines in here to make the little tick marks for each minute or I can just remember this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes and put my minute hand here. How would I make it say 10 o'clock, 10.30? All right, 10.30, okay. Well, I know it's pointing here if it's 10 o'clock. 10.30 means it's halfway between the 10 and the 11. So, and then 10.30, where is my minute hand gonna go? If you said right here, you were correct. This is how I do 10.30. I know it's 10.30 and not 11.30 because this hour hand has not gotten to 11 yet. It's halfway between the 10 and the 11. Remember that the hour hands on your clock move like this, okay? 
So it has to hit the 10 before it hits the 11. Okay, what about this time? What's that? What two numbers is my hour hand between? If you said between 12 and one, you're right. Look at my minute hand. Where's my minute hand? Straight at the bottom of 30 minutes. So it's something 30, right? So is it 12.30 or 1.30? Think about how my clock hands move. Remember I said they go around and around like that. It's what we call clockwise. It's past the 12, but it has not gotten to the one yet. So that means it's still on the 12 o'clock hour. So we say 1230. All right, boys and girls, I know you're gonna do a great job with this. The best thing you can do is practice telling time at home and do your very best. <laughs>